is the glistening spot on your dial. Winner, WYNR, the mighty 1390 in Chicago. This is Mike McClellan in the Winter News Center. This hour's big story, CNNW strike, wounds Midwest. 5.55 p.m., Greenwich Mean Time. It is now 7.55 at night on Mount Kilimanjaro. And 12.55 in the afternoon in Chicago. The midday edition of WYNR News. Chicago, the three-day-old Chicago and Northwestern Railway strike is gripping hard at the Midwest's economy. Eleven Wisconsin paper mills say they will shut down soon if the strike is not settled by early next week. The mills have wired President Kennedy to step in and stop the strike. Iron ore and wood pulp is piling up in northern Michigan. Wheat is... Waiting up in the Dakotas. Negotiations are to resume in Chicago today between the carrier and the striking telegraphers union. But federal mediator Francis O'Neill says he doesn't know what time the two sides will get together and he sees no signs of an early settlement. Cairo, Illinois. Things were quiet today in the racially troubled southern Illinois town of Cairo following the continuance of cases against 18 integration demonstrators. More than 100 Illinois state troopers yesterday stood guard during the courtroom appearance of the demonstrators on various charges ranging from breach of the peace to trespassing. Fifteen of the cases were continued and will be heard from September 10th to September 26th. No date was set for the other three cases. Any threat of trouble vanished when the continuances were granted on the defense attorney requests for separate trials by jury instead of a single trial for all the defendants. St. Petersburg, Florida, an outbreak of sleeping sickness has taken its 13th victory in victim in central Florida. Most of the deaths have occurred in Pinellas County, where St. Petersburg is located. The number of suspected cases of encephalitis now stands at 129, 111 of them in Pinellas County. The disease commonly called sleeping sickness is passed from birds to human beings by mosquitoes. Mosquito control crews are working round the clock this weekend in an effort to stamp out the insects in the area. Chicago, the Labor Day weekend has begun with a stunning death toll on the roads. In just 18 hours, 74 persons died in highway accidents. That was the count from the beginning of the weekend through noon Saturday Eastern Daylight Time. The death rate was record-breaking. The National Safety Council said that never before have so many persons died in such a short space of time in the opening hours of a Labor Day holiday. A council spokesman says the traffic death rate is running ahead of the record pace set in 1951 when 461 persons died over the Labor Day weekend. Hong Kong, a typhoon struck a devastating blow in Hong Kong today. Typhoon Wanda with winds up to 114 miles an hour hit the British colony on the China coast. It left widespread death and destruction. Police estimated that at least 16 persons were killed, 116 injured, hundreds left homeless. It's feared that the death toll will rise when a check is made among the 3 million refugees from Red China who live in flimsy shacks and hovels. The Hong Kong government has called out all available men in a massive relief effort. Havana, Cuban Premier Castro was bursting with threats and denials today. Castro denied that Cuban vessels attacked the United States Navy plane off Cuba on Thursday as Washington has charged. In a Havana radio broadcast, Castro also issued a threat. He told U.S. troops to be ready to die if they attack Cuba. Castro dismissed the reported attack on a U.S. plane as a Yankee lie. In Washington, the attack produced a shoot-back order from the White House. U.S. forces in the Caribbean were told to return fire if they are attacked again in international waters off Cuba. Washington, there is definite evidence a Russian space shot has failed. U.S. space scientists say they have tracked the fragments of a Russian rocket as orbiting the globe at a very low level. They say it's so low, it could only be from a failure, and speculate the Reds may have tried to beat the U.S. to the vicinity of Venus with a space probe. The government scientists report that one of the pieces of the space vehicle already has re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and disappeared. Prague, UN Secretary General Font has met with Czechoslovakian President Novotny. They met at the palace in Prague today after Font's arrival in the capital city last night for a two-day visit. You are listening to Winner News, where you are an ear witness to history. Chicago weather flashed to WYNR from the United States Weather Bureau at O'Hare Field. Sunny but cooler and less humid this afternoon. Fair and cool tonight. Mostly sunny with little temperature change on Sunday. Current readings. Barometric pressure, 29 points. 
4-0 and steady. Winds are from the east at 12 miles per hour. Relative humidity 56%. Predicted high today 80. Overnight low 63. Expected high tomorrow 83. Present and official temperature 74 degrees. Again, this hour's banner headline, CNNW Strike, Wounds Midwest. Mike McClellan speaking. You have just heard winter news from WYNR Chicago. Now here's it. More music on winter. Here's the Dick Kemp Show. The number one song in all Chicagoland. According to WYNR's weekly survey, here's the tune that tops in the traveling town this week. Number one in the WYNR winner's circle. Okay, here we go, Chicago. The song number one, it's by the Four Seasons, and it's called Sherry. Get it, kittens. Get it, cats. 